virtual fitness video with Hype Nutrition and Wellness. My name is Erin and today we have for you a classical ballet based bar class. This is going to be a total body workout that focuses on strengthening and toning through the legs, the glutes, the core, the arms, everything that we need, all the good stuff. So as always, before you start this exercise, or any other physical activity program, make sure that you've been cleared with the physician and that you have no restriction on exercising. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna find a nice second position. So we wanna take a deep breath in, draw ourselves up nice and tall. So you can see from the side, we have our shoulders, our rib cage, and our hips all in a nice line. That spine is nice and straight. That neck is drawn up long, neutral chin. We're gonna point the toes to the corners, rotating outwards, turning out through the legs so the knees are following the toes. We're just gonna take nice, easy, second position plie. So we sink down and we come back up. So unlike a squat where that booty comes out, with the plie, we slide up and down that imaginary flagpole our wall, bringing the arms up to shoulder height and back down. Nice and easy for three and two. Think of those arms as floating along one. We're gonna hold it here. We're gonna pop it up and over and reach, over and reach. So we have a no equipment workout for you today with the exception of a mat or a soft surface. And also, if you'd like to utilize a portable ballet bar, a chair, the back of a couch, a wall, just something maybe to help with balance when we come into some of the more intricate and deliberate muscle movements. For three, inhale two, and release, holding it here, sink down, bring those arms overhead, warming up the shoulders. So our arms are just slightly in front of us, as you can see, they're not directly over my head. They're just slightly kind of above my forehead, sinking down just a little bit lower for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Coming in, shortening our stance a little bit. We're going to come up releve and lower. Lift those heels, bring it down for three, Inhale two, exhale lower, and hold. Finding our first balance today, drawing up tall through the spine. Always the option to have that surface to hold on to. If those shoulders are hopped up, relax them down, and come down, turn the toes forward. Take a nice full brush the floor, roll up. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, exhale, fold. Roll it up. Two more of these. Getting movement through that spine. Hinge at the hips, bend the knees, roll it up. One more deep breath in. And fold it down. Bringing it back up. Beautiful. <clears throat> so we're gonna start by resting our right hand on your bar or surface, your chair, your wall, whatever it is you have. So I have a portable ballet bar I like to use. And we're gonna find first position. So the penguin feet, like you have a grapefruit in between your feet. Once again, drawn up tall, shoulders, rib cage, hips, arm can be in that ballet second, or go ahead, just place it right on your hips. You're just gonna reach that toe out in front. You're gonna lift and lower. So we're taking tiny movements here. As we lift and lower, we're keeping that core nice and strong. So we're not doing that gut punch reaction where we're caving in. We're just going to lift. Think about drawing that leg out as long as you can. Lifting for four, for three, for two. Hold it here. We're going to give it a little pulse. We're going to bump it up in the air. So we're rotated out. So it's open through the hip. Knee is open. We're pulsing for four, three, two, and beautiful, hold it here. You're gonna open into a passe, so that knee opens up, 
hips are nice and flat facing forward, toe just barely taps that knee and you extend it back out, in and out. So that knee pulls in and open into that passe for three, beautiful, two, and one, lift, high, 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 bring it back down, releve up, find that balance for three, two, and bring it back down. All right, we're gonna take it from that first position, leg comes out to the slide just slightly in front, and you're gonna tap and lift. So that leg just pops off the ground, pop, that big toe, we're lifting up out of this side. It's easy to want to sink into that hip, lift up nice and tall, and lift that leg. You got it, four, three, two, and we're gonna find that pulse here. We're gonna pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Beautiful, hold it here. Now with that posse, we just hinge at that knee joint and extend, hinge and extend. Beautiful. We have four more here and three, two more. And bring it in, beautiful, lift and lower it down to that first position, finding that balance again, that releve, lifting up nice and tall. Beautiful, come on down, come back. We're gonna come on to the other side. So you can just flip around or just bring your, that's what I love about the portable bar, just bring your chair or turn to the other side of the wall. Join up nice and tall, arm at that second. Left leg is out, right leg is out, left arm on your surface or your bar. You're gonna tap and lower and tap and tap. Once again, think about drawing up nice and tall through the core, through the rib cage, lifting up out of that base leg. Beautiful. Also, if you find that your arm is starting to hunch, that shoulder's coming up, relax it down. These moves do not feel effortless, but they should look effortless for three and two. And lift, hold, let's pulse it here. Let's pulse eight, seven, six, five, pulse four, and three, two, beautiful, lift, hold it here, we're gonna open it up, find that passe, and extend, pull it in, and extend, so it's like a little gate, we open up nice and flat through the hips, for four, we have three more here, and two, and one, extend it out, hold, lift a little higher, bring it back, first position, find that releve. Heels come up, option to take that balance. Woo. So when we balance, we draw up nice and tall, find that focal point and breathe. Plie down, beautiful. Take that foot out to that second position. Tandu just slightly in front so it's not True side, you don't want to pull yourself backwards, slightly in front. You're going to tap and lift here. And lift. And lift. Beautiful. So once again, lifting up out of this leg so we're not sinking into that hip. Moving right from this hip joint for four. Three. Two. Beautiful lift. Let's pulse it. Let's pulse eight. Seven. Six. Tiny movement. And four, three, two, ooh, getting nice and warm, finding that passe, hinge and extend, hinge, extend, beautiful. We got four more here, and three. So the height of the leg isn't as important as much as just having that controlled movement. Last one, extend, lift, bring it down, reach up, find that passe. Holding for four, three, two, and bring it back down. Nice job. So working on some glute movement here. 
back to that bar. So you can either place both hands on or one. If you have one hand, you're going to take the other one slightly in front of you. From first position, you're going to slide that leg back and you're just going to tap and lift. So it's a tiny movement. So if you're finding that your torso is wanting to come forward with every lift, then just decrease that movement a little bit because we don't want, as the torso moves, you feel it more in the base leg. We're really focusing on that glute, on that working leg. So we're reaching up for four, three, two, and you know it's coming. You're gonna lift hold, give me a pulse here, pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and coming into that passe, we pull the heel to the calf and extend. Heel and extend. You got it. Just four more here. Four, three, two. Now, a little something extra here. As you come down, you're going to plie on that base leg and shoot it out, plie and extend. Now the arm, you can keep it on your hips or you can add a lower as you plie and then extend just to get some upper body movement in there. Ooh, the arms work just almost as much as the legs in ballet. Lots of movement here. So that heel was turning out, extend for four, three, and two, and hold it here, take it out here, lift and lower, lift and lower. So if you want, you can have both hands on the bar here. You're bending through, this knee is still tracking, same direction as that toe. You're going four, three, two, and straighten up, lift up, relevate on that leg, hold, Hold four, three, two, and beautiful. Bring it down. Find that balance. And plie. Coming into the other side. We have that leg back drawing up nice and tall with that torso. And you're going to tap and lift here. So rotate it through. Big toe taps. And you're pulling up. Really getting some heat building through the legs. The entire body should feel so nice and warm right now. Lots of muscle work for four. Lift three and two. And we're gonna lift hold, give me that little pulse. So I know it burns. It's gonna feel amazing when we're done for four, three, two, and find that passe by pulling the heel so more of like a little coupe, pull that heel and extend. Heel, extend. So you can be facing your bar or your chair or the back of your couch, whatever it is you have to just kind of help you focus on the movements and help with your balance for three, two, and beautiful. From here, you're going to take a plie. You're going to add that plie. So you're coming down and extend. Down and extend. Beautiful. And extend. For four. Three. Two. And come out. Hold it here. Extend that leg backwards. Nice plie on that left leg. You're going to lift and lower here. Lift and lower. Lift, lift. So using some classical ballet moves to really work on firming and toning those leg muscles for four, three, two, and we're going to come in first position. Find that releve. If you want, take that balance. Reach tall. And plie down, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna come back to having 
our right hand on the bar, working that left side. So we're gonna kind of pop the leg up a little bit, lifting up nice and tall, and you're just gonna hinge that knee, pop the toe. Or hinge at the hip, pop that toe. Lift. So we're gonna come in to a bit of a développé. So it's more kind of like a little half développé. So you're gonna lift, extend, in, tap. Lift, extend, in, tap. Lift, woo! Keeping that torso nice and strong. Up, woo! And three. Give me two more. And one. And you're gonna pull it up. Give me a pulse here for eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, two. And holding it here, we're gonna to turn towards our bar. And the leg stays in the same position. That ankle's dropped just a little bit lower than the knee. And you're gonna lift right from the glute here, lifting here for eight and seven, six, five, four more, and three, and two. Beautiful, lift, extend. Now the torso can come forward. You can rest those forearms down if you'd like. And you're gonna extend it out, bring it halfway in, and out, halfway in. There we go. Now you're feeling it in both legs. We have the hamstring muscle in the base leg for four and three. Now the height of the leg is not as important as the muscles being worked. So keep that in mind and hold it here. Straighten out that spine and pulse that leg up high as you can comfortably comfortably go. You're going to pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and beautiful. Lift and fold it back in. Bring it down. Releve. Coming up and switching sides. Beautiful job. All right. We have that left hand resting on the bar. Right arm out to that ballet second. We're gonna rotate open, popped up on that toe, and we're gonna lift and lower the leg. Lift up. Really working in through the hip flexor. We're gonna extend that movement in through the quad. Then when we turn, we hit that glute, finally tackling that hamstring for four. And three, two more. And hold it here, extend. Lift, tap that toe, up, lift, hitch, down. See so that little hitch in your knee here, and down. Extend, in, and lower, up, reach, pull, for four, and three, and two, and one, hold it here, pulse eight, seven, draw that knee up six, like there's a little string on it, and four, three, two, hold that leg here, turn to face that bar, so you're gonna drop the foot and ankle down just a little bit lower than that leg, we're gonna lift, lift it up. So that knee is lifting, so now that string is right here and it's pulling, pulling. We're lifting for four more. And three. And two. And one. We're going to extend halfway. So as you extend, that torso can come forward. Extend halfway. Pull it in for four. And three. And two, 
and reach as long as you can. Straighten that spine and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, and three, and two, and reach that leg as high as you can, bring it in, find that releve, and plie down. Beautiful job. So we're gonna come through a, a plie series. Um, probably both hands on the bar is going to be the easiest here. And we're gonna start with the feet parallel. So we're just gonna come up for four, and three, and two, and lift the heels, and you're gonna sink down. So the knees are gonna come forward, back is gonna stay tall. So the knees do cross over the toes slightly, and we lift. Forward, come forward, and lift. So shoulders are still stacked over ribs, ribs over hip. Three, two, and one, hold it here. Now as we shift, we're gonna drop the heels, shift back into that little chair squat here, and you're gonna come down, give me four of those little baby chair squats, or, <laughs> or mommy chair squats, depending on how those glutes are feeling. And one more, drop it down. We're gonna hold it here. Take a scan of that tailbone. If it's really over tucked or if it's really tucked under, neutralize it so it's nice and steady. Sink just a little lower. Give me that little bounce. Like you're bouncing that booty off a big beach ball or balance ball. You're gonna bounce for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here. Those hips are out. Now we lift up and we're gonna plie here, taking that squat or that parallel plie. This time hips are coming out and they're pulling up. So you're sinking down, pull that pelvis forward and sink and lift. We got two more here. Now, we're gonna keep those heels up. Let's come up one more time. Now sink down, keep those heels up. Sit down low, sit down low, pulse those hips. Bounce that booty right off that beach ball. We're going eight, ooh, seven, I know, right through here, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it here, hold it here. Give me a lower and a lift of those heels. Just one set of these. Really working through the ankles, working through the calves. Everything's on fire. Four more. Three, two, and beautiful. Lift, extend, and lower. Shake it out, beautiful. All right, so you can set your bar or your chair aside. We're gonna to come to the center, doing some port bras ballet arms. So really gonna try and focus on hitting total body here. So we're gonna find that nice wide second position. You're gonna sink down into the second position plie. So not quite ground plie, you know, you don't have to go way, way low, but about halfway here. You're gonna find that ballet second with the arms. And we're just gonna reach that rib cage to the side and center, side and center. Creating some body awareness here that separation of upper and lower body. The hips stay put as the rib cage moves. Reaching for four and three. If those legs get fatigued, you can straighten them a little bit. We have two more. And one here. Now holding that rib cage nice and steady, shoulders are gonna stay put, arms come up and down, and up and down. Like I said, go ahead, straighten those legs if you're starting to feel a little bit of muscle burn out there. We want to avoid 
this, and this. Everything is stacked nice and straight for three, and two, and one, straighten the legs. We're gonna bring those arms over and we're gonna reach for four, three, two, and center, arms up, over, reach for four, three, two, and back to center. Bring those arms up overhead, and we're gonna lower down. Inhale up, reach, sink down. Rise up, lower the arms, and bring them down. And up, and plie, and up, and plie. Beautiful, finding that pattern here. Plie down, plie down. Now keeping those legs nice and straight, bring it up. Once again, reach to one side and pulse for four, three, two. Come to center, plie down. Coming up, reach, other side, pulse four, three, two, plie center, down. And again, reach for three, rib cage reaches, two, and up. One more time, other side, reach for four, three, two, and beautiful. Coming back, holding it here. Those arms, we're gonna do little circles, little circles right here. So nice straight line, fingertips are long. Beautiful, strong, strong fingertips. Always the option to straighten those legs if you'd like. Totally up to you. If you wanna get a little bit of that isolated muscle hold, you can sink down for four, three, two. Let's reverse, eight, seven, six. I know you don't even need weight. You're gonna feel that in the arms, three, two, one, and we're gonna pop it up and over, center, over, center. Just like we did in the warm up. Beautiful. And last one, sink down, reach. Take those toes forward, fold down. Take a nice little stretch here, straddle stretch. Really open up the back of the legs and then plant your hands and we're going to come down onto our back sides. So finding that nice straight line. So you can place your hands behind you, lean back just a little bit. If you want to tent those fingers or if it's comfortable to go like this or you can wind them out a little bit. We're going to just take a little stretch here, open up the chest. And then get ready to come into that neutral spine. So option to keep those arms back behind you or come down to the forearms. We're going to reach them long and we're going to take our little marches here. So just lifting, so you have that nice straight line and you're just lifting through the hips. Remember to breathe. Now, if you want, you can take those arms slightly higher. And if you want to make this even a little more difficult, you can give me a single straight leg here. Reach. Adding a little lift and lower with the torso. Beautiful pointed toe. Reach those fingertips long to keep that back nice and straight. We have two more. And we're going to hold it here. We're going to take a little pulse with that leg. Pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower down, bring those arms up, forward fold, release the back. 
Beautiful, sweep those arms up, find that circle and bring them back down to where we were, back to those alternating taps. So always the option to just keep it here at the taps, remembering that you can take those arms behind you for a little more support if that's more comfortable for you today. Whew. The abs are really starting to realize that they are in it for the long haul on this one. All right. So now right here, you can keep it alternating or you can go ahead, extend that left leg, raise and lower. So my heel is not touching the ground, about an inch or two off the ground and I'm pulling it up, pulling it up, adding a bit of torso movement here. Really, really starting to feel some shaking muscles through the core, through the legs, shoulders to kneecaps. Reach and reach. Pull forward. We're going to go four more. Three, Woo, two, and reach. Hold with the pulse for eight, seven, six, five. Smile for three two and come up forward fold you can soften the knees melt towards those legs find a release in that low back all right so one more strength exercise for you today we're going to come into a forearm plank so a couple ways you can do this you can use those sphinx arms where the shoulders are over the elbows and hands are parallel. Or if you want a little more support, you interlace the fingers, really focus on using kind of that tripod to help hold the body up. And we're gonna find that forearm plank. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the hips up into a dolphin and we're gonna shift them back forward. These are dolphin push-ups. So you're gonna come up and come back forward. Now, if you would like to add a little something, you're gonna take a little passe here with the leg, or a little coupe, so the heel is on the calf, and you're gonna come up and lower, and up and lower. Release for four, three, two, and hold it here, extend that leg high, bring it back down, drop to the knees, and relax. Finding that sphinx pose, taking a little breath here. And one more set, option to take that other leg if you're doing the single leg, um, little passe, dolphin push-ups, kind of a little hybrid of ballet and yoga and pilates here so go ahead find yourself into that plank option to pick up that leg and let's go up for eight remember to breathe just four more here four three two and take it up, extend that leg up if you'd like, reach, bring it down, drop to the knees, sit back, child's pose. Ooh, big breath here. Lots of work. Beautiful. All right, let's come into a seated position. We're gonna tuck our one leg into the other into a single leg stretch. So we're gonna square off on that straight leg, bringing the arms up overhead, drop the shoulders, reach down, melting towards that leg. Got the heart rate up a little bit on those dolphins. So really find that nice point of stretching where you can feel the muscles stretching, but not to the point of pain. We don't want to overstretch. Your muscles are very warm right now, so it's a good time to stretch, but you want to use caution and make sure that you're not forcing yourself 
into a stretch that your body's not comfortable with. And coming back up, we're going to take this leg, crossing it over, and then really kind of pulling it so your knees are almost stacked on one another. If you're finding that this hip really wants to lift off the mat, go ahead and extend that bottom leg out straight in front of you to allow that hip to come down. Otherwise, you're gonna hold onto the arches of the feet, press both those hips into the mat, and lean forward, finding a stretch through the hips, IT band, and glutes, which all did a lot of work today. So much fun. Really warm in here today, which is a combination of probably the fireplace in the next room and the ballet sweater. <laughs> Beautiful, slowly come up. You're gonna unwind those legs, finding that seated straddle, hinge forward. Like I said, being careful to not overstretch here with these nice warm leg muscles. So, these isolated muscle moves are a great strength addition to any exercise regimen. And they really can be at all levels. You know, everybody's different. So you just want to make sure you're listening to your body and working within your limits. All right, let's go ahead, tuck that other leg in, square your body off, reach the arms up, drop the shoulders down, hinge forward. When you get to that point where you cannot hinge anymore, soften the knee, melt down. Feeling a beautiful stretch through the hamstring and calf on that other leg. So we're really actually very quite surprised. We're having a snow day today or a virtual learning day because we have yet another blizzard. And I'm really surprised I have not been interrupted. So I had to cancel my classes today. So I really wanted to take advantage of trying to get another video recorded. So let's cross our fingers it stays that way. Beautiful, coming on up. We're gonna cross that leg over just like we did on the other side. Always the option. So unlike a seated twist where the foot is down, the sides of the feet are on the mat and you're holding onto the arches of the feet or the ankles and hinging forward. So keeping both hips down on the mat. When this hip lifts up, you're not gonna feel the stretch as much. So you really wanna keep that hip pressed into the mat. Like I said, and if your legs just don't bend this way, straighten out that bottom leg. It's going to make it more comfortable. Beautiful. Deep breath in. And release. We're going to tuck our legs behind us, sitting on our feet like this, getting a nice stretch through the whole front of the leg, you're going to come back, send the hips up a little bit, stretching out the quads or the front of your legs. Deep breath. Also a good opportunity to open up that chest and lower the hips, interlace the arms and reach those fists downward and outward. Shoulders come down. If your shoulders are hunched up, really let those shoulders drop down and then bring that chin slightly towards your chest. And coming back around, finding your easy seated pose or crisscross applesauce. You know, stretch through the shoulders. So you draw the arm across, but draw the shoulder back. So you feel that stretch right through the arm here. Nice deep breaths. And other arm comes across. So as you find kind of the opposing movement, so the shoulders pulling back as you're pressing the arm towards your body, really find that stretch there and release go ahead change your leg position and you're going to reach up and over pressing into the mat finding that side body and up 
to center, drop the shoulders down, another way. And up, reach the arms overhead, inhale, lift, deep breath in, up to the sky, exhale, take your bow. All right, beautiful job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. I hope you had fun and stay tuned for some more content to come soon. If you like what you see here, make sure you hit subscribe so you're always notified when I have new videos that post, which I will try and post every Monday, give or take. So have a wonderful day. We'll see you all soon. Bye.